What's the story, NXT fans? Tonight's topics on the Russell story include... Tyler Bate takes out Walter. Mia Yim joining forces with Baszler. And Jordan Miles cashes in his championship match contract. All that and more coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Wrestle Story, where we discuss all things wrestling, the legends of the past, the superstars of the present, and the trailblazers of the future. We stream every Monday after Raw, every Tuesday after SmackDown, and every Wednesday after NXT. We also stream after every pay-per-view. Tonight, it is Wednesday. We are here with our NXT stream. Um, I know the last like two weeks, we haven't done it because no. the shows have not been very good or not worth talking about so much. Yeah, <laughs> You know? So, uh, we're back with our NXT recap. Um, I thought both shows this week were actually really good. Solid. NXT UK and NXT, I thought were both pretty good. Yeah, they were definitely solid. Um, so, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start off with NXT UK, because that was the first show I watched. Um... And NXT UK started with Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner versus The Hunt. Uh, very good match, I thought. Very good tag team match. Um, Eichner and Bartel end up getting the win, which was pretty much to be expected. I didn't expect them to lose. Yeah, me neither. Um, then we get told after this match that we are getting Travis Banks versus Noam Dar at TakeOver Cardiff, which should be a good match. Um, and then we go backstage, and it is the interviewer guy, whatever the heck his name is. I can't think of what his name is. He has, like, the curly hair. You know who I'm talking about. The curly hair guy. Um, he is backstage uh, by... Lord Alfred Hayes. No. Oh. He is... Uh... He has curly hair. Not really. Yeah, he had curly hair. Did he? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Whatever. Um, but... The, hey James, how's Hello, it going? James. Um, he's standing back there by Imperium's dressing room or locker room or whatever, and he was waiting for Walter to come out to talk to him, but Walter did not come out, and instead, Bartel and Eichner were going in. Now, they go in there and they get beat up. By who? We don't know yet. But both mm. guys get taken out. We've never seen this storyline before, have we? Never. Yeah. <laughs> so both guys get taken out, and we're just kind of left with that. The camera guy falls over, and we can't see who it was. The one thing I hate about these segments when they do them is they put in that stupid, like, the TV screen is cut out yeah. type thing where it's yeah. like, beep, and yeah. they have, like, the, the rainbow-colored lines. Yeah. Like, you've lost signal. Like, I hate that. That's just stupid. Yeah, pretty much. Like, come on, guys. That's dumb. Uh, so that's the one thing I don't like about those types of segments on NXT UK, and they're the only ones who do that. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Yukon Cornelius is the man that attacked Roman Reigns. Don't know who that is, but okay. I've heard of the, uh, like, I've heard of the name. I don't know. It sounds familiar. I've never heard of him, though. Well, if it sounds familiar, that would mean I've heard of him. But, yeah. you know, like, I don't know who he is. It sounds familiar, but I've never heard of him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fictional character. Mm. Fun. I knew it. Oh, I know what he is. He's the guy on... Um, Frosty. I know who you're talking about. It's Frost... Or, no, no, Rudolph the Rudinose Reindeer. Yeah! I knew I'd heard the name. <laughs> well, like, who is that? Good job, Scott. Scott's messing with us. I see that. Big time, man. Um, I'd like to see another Walter versus Pete Dunn match. I, uh, I don't know if I necessarily would just because we've seen it, you know, we saw it. And, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. I knew I'd heard his name. He made us look really stupid. Well, I knew That's I, what I he knew just I, did. Well, he did, but I knew I'd heard Yukon <laughs> Cornelius before. Um, and he wrestled the Abominable Snowman, so I was thinking, you know. He's a wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Uh, I'd like to see Walter versus Brown. I think it'd be an interesting match. Yeah. They're both big dudes. Yeah. Um. So we get that. Then we get Kaylee Ray versus Shax. Don't have a clue what kind of a name that is, 
but okay. Never heard of her before, and so I figured she's getting squashed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a decent match, not gonna lie. Um, Kaylee Ray gets the win, which was, again, pretty much to be expected at this point, because TakeOver Cardiff is in 10 days or whatever. Uh, She then gets on the mic, and she says, in 10 days I'm challenging for the NXT UK Women's Championship. And she then goes on to say that Tony wants all of you to believe that she's a big star, uh, but I know what kind of, what kind of a weak individual she can be, and I will take that one thing that means the most to her. Tony then comes out, and Kaylee Ray goes on to say again. She says she, uh, she knows why Tony likes to spend so much time away from home, and unlike Tony, uh, she has. When she gets to go home, she has her family and her friends and her hometown that she loves. Um, but when Tony goes home, she doesn't have anything except her belt. She then says, um, have you ever thought why everyone in your life has abandoned you? It's because of you. You are the reason they have left. She says, you're the reason we don't talk anymore. You're the reason that none of your friends or family call you anymore. And you're the reason that when your father left you when you were little, he realized that you were worthless and he, she didn't get to finish the sentence because Tony slapped her face off. And then Kaylee Ray left and that was kind of that segment. It's a decent segment. It really was. I thought this was actually a pretty good segment. Not gonna lie. She can't hang with Tony. <sighs> I don't know, man. I, at first, I was like, okay, I think Tony's going to retain, but I'm not so sure now. Uh, well, if they're going to move her, she might not. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could see her losing it, especially if they're going to move her. And since NXT and really is to, now going to USA, they, they might want to move her over they there. They don't have to move her up to the main roster. They no, they could move her to, move her to NXT, NXT, so then she could be used in that women's division to help build that one up, yeah. too. I think that could very well be what they do. Yeah, they might. And so, I will not be shocked at this point if she does drop the title to Kaylee Ray. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked either. Uh, so then we get a video for Joe Coffey versus Dave Mastiff in a last man standing match at TakeOver Cardiff. Again, this should be another um, really great match. Um, it should be fun. Yeah. The TakeOver Cardiff card is getting uh, pretty stacked. Should be a good pay-per-view. Should be. Um, so then we get a Jordan Devlin interview. And it was, you know, pretty much she was like, I can't believe I'm not on the TakeOver card. Yeah. And this pay-per-view is going to be worthless if I'm not on it. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. So, just, that's just that. Of it. So then he, like, leaves, and Imperium shows up in the back, and Walter is like, uh, the Marcel and Fabian, they were, they were attacked. And you know what? Tyler Bate, tell him that I will still see him in the ring tonight. Uh, for our face-to-face confrontation. So, that's that. Uh, then we get Mark Andrews versus James Drake. I believe Tony just needs to be called up to face Becky. That's all that matters. I don't think it's going to happen, though. At least I'd... not not soon. No. I don't think. I think she'll go over to NXT before she goes to the main roster. I would agree. As much as the main roster could use her. I think if anybody's getting moved up to the main roster, it would be Shayna. Yeah, probably. Because I don't necessarily know if NXT really needs her at this point. Because I don't think having her as champ when they move over to live TV. Maybe she drops the championship. Well, she might, but it depends on what they want to do with the other two. It does. I mean, if they want to keep the group together, then I think they have to stay in NXT. Yeah. 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 I would agree with that. Um, but again, I could very well still see them moving Shayna up just to help plump up the women's division on the main roster. Yeah, she might. They might. Um, so, Mark Andrews versus James Drake. I think this is the first time that I've ever seen James Drake wrestle. Yeah. Because I being agree. with grizzled young veterans, I have not seen them do anything since I started watching NXT UK. Haven't had a single match where I've seen them defend their titles. No. Nothing. No. So, I believe this is the first time I've seen him wrestle. Yep. 
Uh, really good match, I think, for the most part. Um, why go from NXT UK to NXT makes no sense, in my opinion. Um, uh, I think the fact that... Well, that NXT, here's, 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 well, I think that because NXT now has a TV deal... I was going to say, if it was just NXT on WWE Network, I would say, okay... Just I move over to the main roster. But since NXT is going to USA, USA and they're going to be more mainstream, yeah. I think that they would get her exposure going through NXT before they just move her up to the main roster. And they might not move her up to the main roster anytime, like, not soon. Yeah, they might not. They might not move anybody up to the main roster no, at this not. point. They might just switch them around yeah. and make their different brands. You know, yeah. have the different people on the different brands. Yeah. So, you know, I guess we'll just have to see what happens, how yeah. they do that. Yep. Um, so Mark Andrews, if he wins the match, uh, they get added to the tag team match at TakeOver Cardiff, and it becomes a triple threat. Gallus versus the Grits of Dark Veterans versus Mark Andrews and what's-his-face. Yeah. Can't think what his name is. And I didn't write it down. Um... So Andrews ends up getting the win after Gallus comes to ringside and starts beating up his tag partner, and then he it kind of distracts um, the other guy from Grizzled Young Veterans. Again, I can't remember what his name is either right now. Yeah. <laughs> and um, which then leads Andrews to getting the win. So. Yep. They are added to the match at TakeOver. Should be fun. Yeah, I think it'll be, be an interesting. Like I said, the the TakeOver card is, is coming, becoming pretty solid. Mm-hmm. Um, so then the next segment and the last segment that we have on NXT UK is Trent Seven uh, shows up. He gets in the ring, and this is the first time we've seen Seven in weeks at this point. And uh, Walter comes out, and he's like, fight me, bro. Actually, didn't say fight me, bro. Um, <laughs> and then Alexander Wolf comes out behind him, and Tyler Bate comes up behind him, hits him with a chair, takes him out. Then he goes after Walter. Walter tries to go after Trent. Trent then knocks him down off the ring apron, and uh, Tyler beats him with a chair. Yep. So that's pretty much that segment. Yep. All in all, I actually watched both both NXTs. In, yeah, in a long time. You watch both of them tonight? That's cool. I thought they were both very good. Uh, they were, and I'm going to talk about some of the things from, you know, NXT. Me too. And we're going to do that right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... We open the show with Undisputed Era. Adam Cole comes out, talks about beating Johnny and how Undisputed Era is the best. And they are, he's the best NXT champion that they've ever had. He beats out Johnny. He beats out Champa, He beats out Nakamura. He beats out Finn Balor. He beats out all these different people. And um, then Roderick gets on the mic and is like, you know what? We all should be draped in gold. We were screwed. Velveteen Dream never pinned me in the match. She pinned Dunn. I was screwed over. Then, Kyle O'Reilly gets on the mic and is like, we were also screwed over because there was a tag in our match and the match ended with the not-legal man getting pinned. Then they showed a video where Bobby did tag Kyle and uh, then Kyle went on to get pinned. So he was not the legal guy. Bobby was. Yeah. So they talk about getting screwed and how Regal needs to make it right. Then uh, Adam Cole gets on the mic again and talks about how great they are. And then they start to leave. And Jordan Miles comes out. And uh, he just stands there with his contract. Adam Cole is like, you want to cash your contract in on me? On me? I'm going to ruin your career before it gets started. This is a bad decision, man. You can go after anybody else. You could go, why, actually, why don't you take your championship 
match opportunity and go to 205 Live or NXT UK because, frankly, I'm better than everybody. So go go cash your championship opportunity in on them and not me. You know, it'd be interesting to see if they let the others win titles and then somehow one of them costs um, Adam Cole the title. In this, the Jordan Miles match? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's happening in two weeks. Well, it'd be interesting if they did it that way. Mm-hmm. Because I, I think that you'd start to see the break of, of the Undisputed Era. Which would be fun, but I don't know if they want to do that because they know that a lot of people don't want that to happen. Well, it depends on what you're going to do with Adam Cole. Mm-hmm. Because I think, he, I think the, he could go up if they just let him go. I do too, but I think they're going to wait for Champa to come back so then we can get a Champa and Cole feud before he leaves. They might. Because when Champa comes back, he's going after Cole. Yeah. So, I Ooh. think, or well, whoever is NXT champion, we'll I see. suppose. And so that, sh- in my mind, should still be Adam Cole. Yeah. And then they should have a few. I just think it'd be interesting if they cost him the title. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jordan Miles is cashing in his contract on Adam Cole in two weeks. Yeah. They will have their championship match. So, that's fun, fun, fun. Uh, then we get a Bronson Reed and Shane Thorne video. They're backstage, and Bronson Reed is, you know, talking about how excited he is to be here and be in NXT. And then Shane Thorne comes up and is like, bro, just stop. You're not going to make it. And so just stop. I'm better than you. So, uh, because of this video, they have a match later in the evening. So, it's pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, then we have Damian Priest versus Mansoor, and it's pretty obvious that Mansoor was not winning this match from the very start. No, the only thing he's ever won is the, um... 50-man yeah. battle royal led, uh, you know... In Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah, Saudi show. Totally. Uh, so, Damian Priest ends up getting the win. I, I don't see all the hype behind the guy. Well, I don't either, but, you know, with th- who they're having fight is not really that... It doesn't help him. Deal, so. I just don't see the hype around him. I know a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, cool, Damien Priest. I'm so excited for him to show up and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, I don't, he doesn't do anything. Like. Maybe if you get on the mic and do some stuff that, that might be more interesting. I don't know. Just right now, he's pretty boring, and I don't see all the hype surrounding him. Yeah. I just don't. Uh, next we have Mia Yim versus Vanessa Bourne, and I did think this was another really good match. Um, Mia gets to win, and then Baszler comes out. She says, Shane, uh, she says, Shayna says, you fought me, took me to places that I've never been. Just like I got to thinking. Instead, we don't, we don't have to stand across from each other and be, be enemies. So, so why don't you stand with us? And be a part of our goon squad. Okay, she didn't actually say that, but but that's what I call them. The goon yeah. squad. Uh, M- Marina and Jessamine show up behind Mia. And uh, she's like, just think about it. And Mia's like, nope. And she, she beats up uh, Jessamine. She knocks her off the ring apron. And then she proceeds to get beat down. By Shafir and Baszler. I think they should have done this segment a little differently. I think it's okay. I think it's fine, and I'm okay with it being like this, but I think what would have made it more interesting, in my opinion, uh, Mia versus Shayna again, hope Mia wins the title this time. I oh, think James, just you wait. She might. Not, mm, not right now. All right. Because if you've seen the spoiler, she's, sorry, Mia's not facing Shayna next. She might come back a time or two later and fight her again. Well, the feud's obviously not done, so. No, it isn't done. But they have somebody lined up to face Shayna next. Well, whatever, but I mean. Who's not Mia. Done. And I know that. I'm not saying the feud is done. I'm just saying that Shayna is not fighting Mia again at the next pay-per-view. Yeah. It's going to be somebody else. Maybe. 
Might be. Okay, whatever. You obviously haven't read the rumors. Or, the rumors. You haven't read the spoilers. Because I've read them. I've seen them. Not by choice. But by force. I'm kidding. It's actually Twitter. Well, it might, might, might not be that way. I mean, you never know. So, um, with what they have already pre-filmed, it's not me right now. Well, when's the next pay-per-view? I don't know. I mean, if it's a long ways off, yeah, it could happen. Maybe. But, I don't know. I don't know. Um, get Shane off my TV. <laughs> no. I don't... James, turn the channel and then you don't have her on your TV. So, the way I wish this would have gone down and what would have been interesting is if they had Mia said yes and she was like, okay, we'll join voices. Fine. Cool. She helps Shayna for a time. She gets on the inside. She hears everything, all of Shayna's tricks and this and that and the other thing. And then during her feud with whoever's next, she can help her there. And then she turns on Shayna and is like, now I know all your secrets. And I'm going to beat you down and take your championship. No, no, this is okay. I I, again, I think this is fine. But again, me. I, I would have liked it the other way. Yeah. I mean, but way. I do think this was a good segment. Yeah. Um. Then we get Tat Jakovic versus Lee video package. Finally, this has been in the making for like what? Six months. I was gonna say it's been a long time. Six months. Yeah. Uh. Finally, we're going to finally, finally, finally see their match. They're gonna finally have their <sighs> feud, and uh, it should be pretty good. Excuse me. Bless you. Yeah. Should be. It should be pretty good. Yeah, I think. I think it'll be good. They're two big guys that do a lot of things that you don't generally see big guys yep. doing. So we'll see what happens. If they can stay healthy. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because Keith Lee got injured and then Dominic Dijakovic just disappeared off the face of the earth. Yeah. But that was after he put out some stupid tweets. Yeah. So he was probably like suspended or something for a yeah. minute. And they just didn't say anything about it. Might have been. Who knows? Uh, so then you get Bronson Reed versus Shane Thorne and Shane Thorne ends up getting the win. I didn't really care about this match very it much. Was okay. Like, it was a fine match, but there wasn't really a lot to it. No. Um, so then we get a Velveteen Dream promo, and I did think this was pretty funny. He starts off by, like, showing his T-shirt. He's like, $30. He then pulls out his sunglasses. So $10. Well, this was directed at Roderick Strong. Oh, yeah, this was. Uh, I thought I did think the placement was a little weird, because, like, I don't even think Shane Thorne left the ring. Yeah. Like... But Velveteen Dream just came out, and I was kind of like, what? They should have done this earlier. Like, it almost didn't really make sense with the placement of it, but, you know, it was fine. Yeah, they should have done it earlier. Um, so he's like, my t-shirt, $30. Pulls out his sunglasses. These are $10. But. Being I'm the North American champion? Is priceless. And then he talks about how it's going to take Roderick a lot more to get his attention. Yeah. Um, and that was the extent of this promo. Yeah, pretty much. I thought it was really funny in the beginning, though, because I wasn't quite sure what it was supposed to be. Well, I thought it was an okay promo. I did, was, I did too, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, he pulled out his T-shirt, and I was like, are you trying to sell us your merch or what? And then he talked about the North American Championship being priceless, and I was like, okay, I got it now. Yeah. Because I, I thought it was, I was like, what? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Selling us? T-shirt, thirty dollars. Yeah. Sunglasses, ten dollars. Well, when he said the price, I kind of had a feeling where he was going. <sighs> I don't know. At first, I was like, weird. But then I was like, okay, I got it. Priceless yeah. championship makes sense. Um, then we got told in two weeks we're getting Jordan Miles versus Adam Cole, and then next week we are getting Street Profits versus Bobby and. Kyle. I will bet you right now that Bobby and Kyle win. I will bet you right now. We already know who wins. I, I bet you Bobby and Kyle win. Mm-hmm. Me too. I don't get this. Why do, you know, I just, this is why NXT, I love NXT. I love what they have, but why do they do this? We knew that 
if they were going to face him a second time, they were taking the belt off him either way. Well, whether they do it or not, the fact is... is in, It's just obvious that they were taking the belt off Well, no, them. it's not obvious. Yes, it was. Like, no, it's not, because you could do things that make it make it so it's not obvious. No, but it was pretty the obvious is, with the way okay, but here's with the, the way it was going that they were supposed okay. they were going to take the belts off of them. It doesn't matter. The fact is they've done this already. It's over. Like next week there's no there's no well wow, I can't believe that they, they let Street Profits win that match cuz I figured they were going to Raw. There's no well, oh, they must be going to Raw because Bobby and Kyle beat them. But the- we already know that they're not going to Raw because there are the reports out there that they're staying on NXT and they are not going to Raw at all. Okay. They're just hype men. But you're okay, whatever. But you're not even listening to what I'm saying. No, I get what you're saying. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I get what you're saying. Where you're you're talking about it being spoiled. Well, again, and we already reports know. are out there because someone put the reports out there. You've spoiled it. Okay, but that's like the whole thing. Why? No matter what you do, no matter if we're watching NXT main roster, it doesn't matter. There's always going to be stuff out there about what's going to happen. You either avoid Why? it or you don't. There doesn't have to be stuff out there. Well, that's just the way There's it is. There's stuff out there. Somebody's putting it out there. Yeah? Like somebody within the company. Well, they have people And that- in this case, you record everything early. And so everybody already knows who wins. Okay, but I think it was pretty obvious who was winning either way, whether we knew who won the match or not. I think it was pretty obvious that well, Kyle. I mean, we can say it's obvious. And Fish but they, were walking they out with like, the belt. Done anything they wanted to with it, and they could have. They could have left it like, you know, when XT goes to USA, Vince will have his hands all over it. I saw reports that I he wasn't don't because think he's he will. focusing on and XFL. I was going to say, I think he's going to be so focused he's gonna on trying to get... And so he's going to step away from the main roster, too, for a bit. He's going to try and get the football league started, I think. So I think he's going to have his hands all over that. And not And with a lot of stuff. information starting to come out about the the XFL, I think that I think he'll be more involved with that than to make sure it gets up and going the right way. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just I don't like the way they did this. I don't know. I mean, Whether I'm... you have them win or lose, the fact is, you could have left people and and whoever said you know the reports whatever, saying well no the street profits are just a mouthpiece for this and that and everything else. Okay, they didn't have to have them be a mouthpiece. Okay, or they could have played it out. Okay, the street profits are getting ready to go to up, up to NX, or up to the main roster after uh, losing to Bobby and Kyle, which they should have waited you know to do this like live or something. And then, when they were done with that, they could have, you know, had the Street Profits go, no, we were going to move up to the main roster, but we are, have to go get revenge on and uh, get our titles back. I mean, they could have played this out that way, and, and like, they've, they've ruined two weeks. There's two or three weeks here that they've ruined because it's pre-recorded. Um, someone's, you know, threw stuff out there and said that they're going to stay in NXT. And so, you know, I don't know. It just it doesn't make sense doing it this way. The best thing you have going for you and you've done something like this where you have a match, the Street Profits we already know lose, and the match isn't for two weeks. Yeah. Montez Ford. Yes, definitely. Vince. Yeah. Yeah, I Hello, agree, Matt. Matt. And hi, little Fettini and Matt. How's it going? I just don't like the way they do this. It, it irritates me, the fact that they... I get that, and I understand that, and we won't have to deal with that for much longer. As long as they do it live. Which they are. They've said that they're doing it live. Well, as long as they do it every, so, every week live. We won't have to worry about that. But... Ugh, thoughts on Brad Shepard's report of Vince taking time off fact. Um, I think it's true, just because. I, but I don't think he's focus. taking time off. I don't think, I think he's think... taking time off either. I think he's still going to have the See, final say in everything, but I think he's going to have less of a say. I could have threw a report together that said Vince is going to take time off because the XFL is coming up. I think he's going to try and make sure that that gets up and gets going the right way. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's happening with that. So you know, and and just to hear over the next three months, there's a lot of stuff happening with that. So I think that he wants to be involved in that and have his hands on that. So, you know, 
it, yeah, I think that's so. Anybody that writes a report about Vince taking time off, I think that y'all get more right than Brad. I think anybody gets more right than Brad. Okay, bro, I don't want to go to the lengths of like blocking this guy on Twitter so I don't have to see any of his stuff. But some of it is just so like out there and like he's just so arrogant and it gets on my nerves sometimes well Vince taking time off is pretty obvious like Sean Ross set up a fightful uh, the most reliable uh Shepard and Melser uh he told me NXT will still be Triple H's show when they move to USA yeah Triple H has said himself there have been articles out there where he said that it's not changing and it's still going to be the same thing. It's I, just I, going to be two hours long well, I and live. I don't think I don't think Vince is going to do anything with it. I think it's just that I think he's going to be more involved with the XFL. XFL was affiliated before for, for various reasons. Same reason that a lot of the leagues have failed. If you don't have a TV deal where you're going to get get your teams out there, it's going to kill you. And he has because nobody is going to watch because I mean, there's channels that they're putting them on that. You know, so nobody has out there and or weird. nobody watches. <laughs> and the thing he did this time was he went out, he got the shows. <laughs> Brad Shepard blocked me. <laughs> I'm about ready he, to block he the went guy out, myself. He went out and got the you know the the channels for the XFL before even before you know they had cities put out there. So you know with ESPN and Fox carrying it. You think Triple H will wrestle on NXT? Probably not. Uh, but I won't put it past. Him. I wouldn't be shocked if he doesn't just you know just do a like a one time thing or something like that. Yeah, I could. Yeah. I think you'll see some of the some of the people up on the main roster come down for like you know a one one show thing where they come down and wrestle on the in, at, at NXT. Yeah, I would say so. Um, I don't know. I just think that dude um, has been saying Sasha's returning every month. Yeah, and then he takes credit for it. And he's like, I told you guys. And we're like, yeah, after months of you being like, oh, she's returning at uh, Stomping Grounds. No, I'm being told now that she's returning the Raw after Stomping Grounds. Oh, no, wait. Sorry, guys. Um, Those reports were wrong. She's returning... Uh, three weeks down the road. Well, the thing is, right before is, Extreme Rules, is we were. Oh, she's returning the day after Extreme Rules. Oh, she's returning at SummerSlam. Uh, she's returning the night after SummerSlam. Hey, look, guys, I got it right. Shut the, up. The thing is, is we said she was going to come back. Shut up. We said she was going to come back, and you know, uh, or at least I was saying she was coming back. It's just a matter of when. I said the same thing. Um. So, you know, if, if you're going to say... Everybody take, knew she was coming back, okay? Let's if, be real here. If you're going to take credit don't for it... Don't take credit. Then, you know, it's... I know a lot of... Don't lot. take credit, especially when you've been saying for the last nine months... Okay. Six months that she's returning at every pay-per-view. At every Raw after the pay-per-view. Okay? Just shove it. Seriously. This is why nobody likes you, Brad. Nobody likes you because you suck. You're not good at your job or your job, which is supposed to be reporting things. Reporting things my butt. Um, yes. Rusev, he did. He put up a tweet that said Rusev and Lana are not going to re-sign their contracts. And then he retweeted that and said, I'm now getting reports that Rusev and Lana are going to re-sign their contracts. Rusev retweeted that and was like, bro, make up your mind here. Are we re-signing or are we not? Can you tell me, please? Well, again, it's you throw enough stuff out there, you're eventually going to get something, right? It's I And just, if you throw, throw both, sides of, both sides of the story out there, then... Yeah, you're, you could always say you're right. He's just so dumb. Like, I don't get him. I mean, what, what was it yesterday that we talked about, or day before yesterday, talked about Sting coming back for a match? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think Sting is going to come back for a match. Yeah, if I was Rusev, I wouldn't resign either. Well, I, I, if I got a guarantee that, that Vince wasn't going to have a hand in it and that 
you know that he's going to be used and he's going to be used the right way, I would probably resign. You think if NXT is a success after them going live, will NXT be live from different cities or stay at full sale? I think it's going to stay at full sale no matter what they do. They get a really good crowd every time well, from full sale. Okay, but it's a small venue. And it is, but I think I as think for if right you, now, if you want to get the NXT wrestlers over, I think you have to start taking them out on the road. I don't know. Yeah, Roof Stuff has changed his look again. I yeah. did see that. He like shaved up like his mustache, beard, everything. Oh, I agree that they may never clear him. But just the fact, you know, I could throw stuff out there that he's coming back and then tomorrow or, or the other day I said he was coming, had, that I wouldn't be shocked to see him come back. And now today I can go, well, he's never coming back. And then if the he never comes back. The guy just isn't good at his if he job. Never comes back, That's what it's down to. Obviously I was right. If he comes back for one more match, obviously I was right about that. I'd rather stay at full sale than a crowd that won't care. I agree with that. The I, full cell crowd is always amazing. They are amazing, and but I think it, it is a small venue, so it sounds super loud. I think the key would be, you don't go, you go to smaller venues where you don't have as many people there, and I think that you would draw good enough crowds, and it would be amazing, you know, if they went to smaller venues. Yeah. Stay away from the big venues. Because they're not always going to have a sellout crowd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then you might have people complaining about, oh, well, I didn't get to get tickets because it was sold out because it's such a small Well, that's venue. just part of anything you do, though. So, NXT won't stay at full sale. I don't think you can. If you're, if you're going to go live on, on USA, I think you have to have, you have to get the wrestlers out. You have to get them out where I there's more exposure. I think for exposure. a long time they're going to be at full sale. I don't think it's going to be a long time. I think they're going to be at full sale for a while. I don't think it's going to be a long time. I, think I don't know. Within two months, they'll be out on the road. Well, right now, they're just saying they're staying at full sale. Well, they might. So. But the fact is, if you don't get them out on the road and get exposure to people, like, you know, like live and in person, then I think you're going to have some issues. Uh, because we don't, we don't need another, another re- reaction. No, Champa we Black don't. Yeah. They had yeah, no I th- idea. I agree. I think it'll. I think it'll be within two months. I think they'll be out on the road. I think before Christmas. It which, was not the Chomp of Black which, Rick Shea Gargano. I know it's, guys, I know it's a little longer than two months. Well, September, October, it's November, December, months. whatever. Close enough. Well, two and four months are two different things. But I don't want to be Brad Shepard and like throw out. I think by uh, by <laughs> St. <laughs> Patrick's <laughs> Day next year. <laughs> They will be on the road. Uh, I doubt it. I just don't know, man. I just don't know. So, anyways, before we started, before I started yelling about Brad Shepard and how much he's a horrible reporter and doesn't know how to do his job correctly, um, we were talking about next week's Street Profits versus Bobby and Kyle. Um, Bobby and Kyle win. Yeah. That's my prediction. We all know they're winning. Um, so you next week when it happens. On a huge long rant yeah. about you, you don't like it. And as I said, they're not going to be pre-taped for much longer. So just suck it up for the time being, I guess. I guess. I suppose. Full Sail has been the home of NXT for years, so I would not change it. I agree. Um, Full Sail, they've had, they taped... NXT out of order. Yeah, yeah. They did. Um, I don't know, man. I'm like... <sighs> I, I don't... You know... There isn't as much out there as there was the last time that spoilers got out when they taped stuff. Uh, so, I'm not, like, that horrifically mad like I was last time. Um, but I do know what's happening over the next several weeks. The thing about it, it, Full Sail being like their home, they've been out on the road. I mean, they've had. They do know, their live shows, like live events. Well, and they've been out on the road too. After you know. a takeover, yeah. They aren't back at Full Sail. They tape the takeover. They have the. T- they don't tape the takeover. They have the takeover. Uh, yeah, the tag team title match was taped last. They have. 
the takeover, which is live, and then for that week of whatever, I was at an NXT live show. That's what I'm saying is cool. we could have went to one. Um, that I don't even remember where I was going with this. I, I don't know possible. where you're going with it either, but they, you know, they put live shows out there. Oh, oh, the the you were talking about them being out on the road, and I was like, what? Because they do the takeover, it's live, wherever they are. Mm-hmm. And then that NXT for that week is also taped at this, the yeah. same place that they're at. For the takeover. Well, they've had shows at other places. When? We could have went to one. NXT though, like for TV. No, they're not for TV. But I'm saying that they do live shows other places. They do. They do those every so now and again. So it's not like it's they not like they don't like go out a somewhere. String of months where they go and do live events. So they could just do, you know, move it out of. That's probably why it's all pre-taped. It, well, whatever. I, you know, they obviously do shows it's, other than just a full. I know sale. they do. I get that and I understand that. And I so thought just you were just talking about. So just shows you put on TV. I was taught. Okay, whatever. There. Whatever. That was because Full Sail was doing huge. Whatever. Yeah. Um, I just, I think that you, you gain more exposure by getting it out there and on live TV. Matt Riddle vs. Adam Cole was the main event of the live. Cool. Cool. Fun. Yeah. See, that's like the thing. The cards for the different live events, they're longer than... Like, whatever we're doing. Yeah. And I understand that we're on SmackDown or two. They're longer than whatever is on TV. Yeah. But, like, there's some stuff on there that, like, would make no sense with whatever we have going on TV right now. So... Well, that's why I don't, I don't understand why they don't, you know... I would just eliminate a lot of that, the extra work, and do, you know, the Raw, SmackDown, NXT... And don't have a lot of these other shows. Well, they they do live show like if you have seen, uh, like the schedule for like any one of the superstars or whatever. They have like taping for Raw, and then if they're they have to be at SmackDown, they go on Tuesday to the next city, and then like on Wednesday they have a live event that they do, and then like Thursday they have a live event that they do, and then they're lucky if they don't have a live event on the weekend, so then they get to go home. Well, I, so there is a lot of like, there a are a lot of live events that they do during the yeah. week in different places, which I mean, like, is fine. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. It's more shows that people get to go to to see stuff. Well, the problem is if you're not going to tie it into your storyline, then it doesn't do any good. And I get that because at all the live events for Raw, the last eighty-two months, uh, well, since the Lacey feud and she went off TV. The main event of a lot of the Raw live shows have been Becky and Seth versus Corbin and Lacey. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't shock me, Matt. WWE did cancel what was supposed to be the next set of tapings. Yeah, probably because of they're moving to the live. they're going live, yeah. And so they wouldn't need to do another set of tapings for if they taped enough up to the point where they're going live. Yeah. They wouldn't need anything for after that because yeah. they're going live. Um, so, you know. I don't know. I'm not as mad about the stuff that got out there this time than the last time. There's some cool stuff coming up that they've got taped. I mean, for the women's division, it should be fun. But, you know, it is out there. Yep. So. We'll just have to see when it goes on TV. But they're allowing the people who bought tickets to those tapings to go to the live broadcast. That's cool. Cool. Um, so in the last part of NXT, Killian Dane versus Matt Riddle. Bro. Uh, Matt Riddle ambushes him before the match gets started. 
And major prediction, Tommaso Ciampa will return on the debut of USA. That would not shock me. If he's cleared and he's good to go. Or even if he's not cleared, if he just makes an appearance. But I feel like return means return in ring, so. Oh, might. But, I mean, you know, I wouldn't push anything if he's not ready. I wouldn't either, which is why I'm saying if he's cleared and ready to go in ring, I could see him showing up. If it was just, like, a talking thing, like, something like that, like, it wouldn't be as impactful. I think it would be. He's one of your superstars. I mean, I know when I get that, but, like, if he's returning. Live on USA Network. If he's returning in ring, it's not like we haven't seen him, though. Probably eyes, but there's a lot of people that haven't. Because, no, but what I'm saying is, like, it's not like we haven't seen him at all since he's been injured. He's been on takeovers, you know, you've seen him at at some point in time on the takeovers, whether it's on the pre-show or the main card is, like, a little video backstage. but this is going to be, there's more exposure here. You want your stars there. I mean, I get it, yeah. Ah, the dude looks healthy and is doing stuff you shouldn't do after neck surgery. Yeah. Well, see, and that's what worries me is I'm hoping that, you know, he's good to go. Um, and I understand, you know, doctors pay attention to these things, but you never know what can happen. And mm-hmm. I think that dealing with the neck, I think it's one of those things that you need to make sure that it's good to go and healthy and you're ready to move on to, the, you know, before you get actively involved with stuff like big time. You need to make sure it's good to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would agree with that. I think neck and head injuries are probably the two big that you know, two big things that you really need to pay attention to. Plus Champa cut a promo on not being on a poster for NXT on USA. I did see that. Yeah. Which again, like I said, if he's like cleared to do stuff, I could totally see him being there. To get involved with something. Like I said, I don't even think he needs to get out and wrestle. I think he just needs to be. I'm there. not saying wrestle. I'm not saying he has to go out there and wrestle, but they won't even like let people out there in the ring if they're not cleared. Like to do a promo. They don't let people go out who aren't cleared. If he's on the list to be mid August, how long has he been out? I don't I'm trying know. to think exactly how long he's been out. It's been a while. Since whenever he showed up. It- uh, on the main roster. It was before WrestleMania. So that was back in April? No, before uh, that. March? February? Let's see if man, it might have been February or March. Because then that. Since yeah, I was going to say since March. Because so then the takeover. April, May, June. WrestleMania July. weekend, that was supposed see, to be where. See, that's a quick comeback for a neck injury. That would Especially be. Especially the thing he had done. That would be. When you know? TakeOver, at that TakeOver for WrestleMania weekend that they were supposed to have their, Johnny and Champa were supposed to have their last match that's, in their saga, but they couldn't because he was out with injury. That's a quick comeback. I don't know that, you know, I would risk messing something up coming back that quick. But, you know, I mean, if he's healthy and there, there's nothing that they can tell that's wrong anymore and that he's, you know, put back together... I mean, yeah, but you're still talking about a neck injury. Said his recovery is coming faster than anyone thought. Yeah. I I agree, but I have seen too many times where athletes their you know, their recovery is coming along faster than anyone I mean, thought. Again, and then the next thing you know, they get in the ring or look get at the, it, step Paige, on the field Daniel or step Bryan. in the ring or step somewhere, you know, step on and step on the court and then they get injured. And I understand that. I mean, we look at Paige and Daniel Bryan. They came back for a short time, and then they were told, hey, sorry, you can't, not anymore, you screwed up again. Not that that, that, not that that is what will happen here. Mm-hmm. I would just rather see him come back healthy and ready to go than, you know, running the risk of having something permanently done. Yeah. Agreed. But, again, if he's supposed to be, have a return from mid-August... Uh, and he's been out since March. How many months is that? March. Five. April. Five. 
uh, Ciampa should an NXT debut episode by coming out waving goodbye to Cole's title. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. I could see that happening. That'd be fun. I think it'd be cool. Get a huge reaction. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, Killian Dane, Matt Riddle, decent match, I thought. It wasn't like I was super shocked that Killian Dane won. No. There was one spot in this match, man. I think he was supposed to get flipped over onto the steps, but he didn't flip, and his head went, like, smack dab into it, or his, like, chin, like, Matt Riddle's chin. Like, he was supposed to do, like, the flip thing. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. the backdrop. Yeah, that didn't happen. He didn't flip. He no. just went, woo, splat. Yeah. And, like, there was no flip. Like, yeah. Killian Dane, straight up, he had him on his shoulder. And, like, should have been, woo. But it was, like, like. Because he did not flip. And I don't think he was supposed to hit his face off yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think so either. Because then he was bleeding after that. Yeah. So. I don't think MSP there will be in war games. Uh, I don't know. They might still be in war games. Um, Riddle is basically punished by WWE. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't understand why. I mean, you got someone out there that, that's obviously over. And so I don't understand what they're doing with him. Um, I think right now it's more so of Killian Dane is coming back and they needed somewhere to put him and they didn't really know what to, to where to put Killian Dane, so they put him with Riddle. There's a million places you could put him. There is, but they were like, Well, we don't know what we're gonna put where we're so gonna you put squash him. So let's put Riddle. Riddle to get Dane over. But maybe yeah, maybe they're gonna do something with Dane. Uh, I don't know. Cause I mean, I mean, Riddle was on a high for a while, but then they really didn't do anything with him. Like, they haven't done anything with him in a championship spotlight recently. I don't think Triple H will want the NXT title in War Games match. Instead of NXT... Uh, I could see it. You know, I could see him thinking that way, but, but maybe he goes, okay, we got all... All four titles are on the Undisputed Era. They're going to team up together in War Games. Mm-hmm. I could see that happening, too. Um, you know, and again, Velveteen Dream, I just want to talk about him for a minute because I know a lot of people recently are like, yeah, Velveteen Dream is like top dog in NXT. And I mean, I'm not going to disagree with that. But what have they done with him in the last nothing several months since nothing. he won the North American Championship? They've done nothing with him. So I don't know how we can sit here and say that he's like a top He's in a top spot right now in NXT. Because he's really not. They haven't done anything with him. Which is the issue. I mean, I guess I understand if they're talking about from, like, championship point of view. Because he is champion. But, like... He's not doing anything. No. They don't have, like, a feud for him. No. And he wasn't talked about. Well, they haven't tried to push him. And, like, even in the triple threat match at, at TakeOver, the last TakeOver, TakeOver Toronto, he, well, I didn't even, I forgot he was in the match. Yeah. Because they didn't really focus on him yeah. at all. It was really know. about Dunn and Strong. Yeah, I agree. Like, so I don't even know what we're doing with him. Yeah. No clue. I think he's dropping the title to Roddy. Probably. I just uh, the don't. first four games that had Sammy in it should have been for the title. Yeah, probably. Oh, they have five. They have. A... They have a few. Who, who's this feud going to be with? Just wait. I think there's a lot of stuff they can do with him. It's just a matter of who. I think and when. Roderick at this point makes the most sense. Yeah, and he's dropping the title to Roddy. I don't think, you know, I was going to say, I don't think that'll last long. At, of him as champ, no. But, I don't know. I just don't think that feud's going to last long. I think once once Roderick gets it, then he'll go off, um, Dream will go after someone else or something else. Yeah. Yeah. 
I read the spoilers down. It's just a magic tick pin. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I figured. I, I had seen that. That's the only I had seen that somewhere, too. Well, I pretty much knew that after he, like, ate the pin. I was like, so we just put him in here to eat the pin. Yeah. To keep Roderick looking strong. No pun intended. Um. That's what all that was for. Yeah. So then he wouldn't have gotten beat. So then he can say, hey, you never beat me. Yeah. Got it. I agree. I don't know. Um. I don't know. I just don't like that. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't like that either. Bill Baszler's next feud. Oh my god. I know. I know. I know, man. It's gonna be good. Do you know who it is? Uh uh-uh. uh. Do you wanna know who it is? Alright. Okay. It's a spoiler. It's a spoiler. I'm yeah. about to drop a spoiler. Are you ready? Okay. Rhea Ripley. That wouldn't shock me. It's going to be Rhea, and it's going to be excellent. Yeah, that doesn't shock me. It's going to be excellent. So, in other words, she's not moving up. Or they're moving her to NXT to add more to the women's division because they're moving to TV. Yeah, Spoiler I mean, alert. The, the, yeah. the fact that they're not, they're not moving Baszler up either. Not at the moment, no. Yeah. Not until she drops the title to somebody. Because they're not, not moving her up if she has the title. Why not? They have before. With who? Well, obviously, they did some stuff with the Street Profits. Well, they did. Everybody thinking they were going to move up. Tegan Knox is not being moved to NXT UK. No, I want her to stay on NXT. I think that's a good spot for her. Um, I guess they did bring Sasha up for a time, and she had... Well, for a time. They, when they brought her up, she was still the NXT Women's Champion. But she dropped it. About a couple weeks later, the War to Viking Bailey. experienced Raiders. But they didn't even like say they were champs. Okay, so I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. But I just don't think you can move Shayna up still as the NXT Women's Champion. And obviously, we're gonna expect her to lose it. Rhea's, so I just think it's kind of dumb to have Rhea's him move gonna win up the with title it. Feud with Tegan. That'd be interesting. I don't know, man. I just think. They're they're, just, they're taking the title off Shayna. I just don't know who's doing it. I think Rio would be a good choice. Yeah. Might be. But, I mean, other than that, I don't really know. EO makes a lot of sense, too. But it, they're still playing out the EO and Candace feud. So, it's not going to be EO right now. I think things will get a lot better when they go live. And it's two hours. They'll have more time. They can add more women's they stuff. Can do more, they can do more with the storylines and stuff. Why would they go back to EO? I don't know, just because they can. <laughs> and I, I think it makes sense. I in think a way, EO with a different attitude could be take the, the title draw. from Shayna. Yeah. And it'd be a big deal. All right. Um I'm going to step away for a minute. Okay. Um you know, I think it would make sense still just because I'd like to see them Continue that. I'm sorry, EO versus Candace is still continuing. Me too. Um, you know, it's a fun feud. I wonder if they'll let Candace get the win this next time, just because that tends to be the way feuds go. Is like somebody gets a win, but then they get a win, and then they're even, and then it's kind of like the tiebreaker situation at the end. That match was amazing. It really was. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even remember what else there was said about, like, rumors. I know there's some stuff with Johnny that should be fun. Um, Well, since they're rebuilding you, I doubt it. Yeah, I could, yeah. It would make sense for her to still get the win. I think it would be better if she still got the win. Um, but I just won't be shocked if they do have Candace go over, so then it's an even playing field, and then EO gets the win a second time. Because if EO beats her twice, the feud, is, it just has to be over, and it really, there really is no reason to continue it, you know? 
So I could very well see them having Candace get the win the second time. Yes. Fuzz on my phone. That's not good. Anything else, guys? Anything else? Heard anything else new? Based off the tapings, Johnny isn't the main event anymore. So Cole needs a new opponent. Yeah. I don't really know who else there could be at this point that's like a top dog. Um, that like makes sense. Because Jordan Miles isn't taking the championship from him. I'm sorry. He's just not. As much as I love Jordan Miles. I love his character. I love his vibe. I love everything about him. But he's just. He's not going to be the one. He's not. Cole's not dropping the title to, to Miles. It's pretty obvious. Um, and then Johnny makes no sense to continue their feud either because he's been beat twice. And so that also makes no sense at this point. Champa coming back makes a lot of sense. Um, Matt Riddle was supposed to be next in line, but then he opened his mouth about Goldberg. <laughs> um... You know, man, he's just speaking the truth. He's just speaking the truth, man. <laughs> uh, even then, I don't know if I really would want to see... I don't know if I would really want to see Matt Riddle in championship spotlight at this point. I feel like his character is fine the way it is, and I don't necessarily need to see him in a championship spotlight, you know? Um, I wouldn't mind Killian Dane versus Adam Cole. Yeah, I think they have to build Killian Dane up the right way, though. Because I don't want him to just be another one of those competitors that just gets handed a title opportunity, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know who else would make sense aside from Champa and Champa. <laughs> I think Champa will be the one to ultimately take the title off of Adam. There's still some tension from Sanity versus uh, Undisputed Era. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. But I do feel Champa would be the one to take the title off of Adam. In the long run, for the end of it. For the end of his NXT Championship title reign. Champa makes most sense to me. Anybody else, not really. The Fiend will beat Adam Cole. <laughs> you know, it could be a fun match. Adam would get squashed, but but it would be a fun match, you know? Not gonna lie, I would not be mad about The Fiend in NXT. I wouldn't either. I want him to attack everybody. Like, no matter who you are and what brand you are, it doesn't matter. Like, you're getting attacked. I think that could be fun. I really do. Good, like, for real, it's going after everybody. At this point, he's just going after Hall of Famers, and I don't quite know who's going to be next. Shawn Michaels would be fun, I suppose. Shawn Michaels tries to super kick him, and he grabs his foot. Yeah. And, like, pulls him apart. Yeah. Like, that could be fun. Otherwise, I don't know who he's going to attack next. I don't know who the guy's feud, who, who he's going to have a feud with next. No idea. Anybody. It could be anybody. But I just don't know. Yeah, That's why, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I wonder if, I'm trying to think of who they could pull up. Like, I think if Randy Orton wins the title. Then I think the fiend will go after Andy Orton. Yeah, I could see that happening. Which could be interesting. I agree. Could be interesting. Um, but until then, I don't know. I don't know who they'd have him go after. I don't either. No idea. Well, he seems to be going after people from his past, and he seems to be going after some legends. mm Hmm. He might. And they may, you know, if that happens, they may set up a match between him and Taker. 
Probably. When is that Madison Square Garden event happening? I don't know. We have to look it up. Look it up. Because Matt Matt might have it before I even get to it. If my suspicion could be correct. Those legends were in his past. Yeah. Yeah. MSG WWE. When is this happening? That's what I need to know. Um, September 9th. Hmm. When is the next Saudi event? Well, wait. WD has announced Undertaker for September 10th. Okay, so September 10th. Maybe he'll screw over Strowman. He might. That could be interesting, yeah. too. When is the next Saudi show? Uh, I think it's in November, but I could be Halloween. wrong. Halloween! Did they switch it to November 1st? No, I think it's on Halloween. Because it was supposed to be on Halloween. I think you're right. I don't know what it's called. What the next one is going to be. Uh, Crown Jewel? Is that what it's going to be? I don't know which. What Saudi show is next? Because I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking it was Halloween. We could be wrong, though. Yeah, I thought it was Halloween. That's what they... It is Halloween? Yeah. Yeah, Crown Jewel is October 31st. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, then, if they play their cards right and they have The Fiend, I could very well see him attacking Undertaker for them to turn around and have a match at the Saudi show to get Undertaker on the card and to put The Fiend on the card. Yes, but then do you have The Fiend get beat? No. You haven't beat The Undertaker. It's not like the first time that The Undertaker's been beat. No. He's been beat by The Undertaker once. Was he? Did he beat The Undertaker? Well, The Fiend hasn't wrestled. Well, The Fiend. Bray Wyatt. Did Bray Wyatt beat him? I mean, The Fiend's a totally different character. No, he is. But did Bray Wyatt beat him? I don't remember if he did or not. But I even could if, very well see them. No, he didn't. I don't remember if he Even did. if they Whatever. had the Undertaker beat him. I know they had him. a match. If they had the Undertaker beat him, the Fiend could, you know, somehow. Bray lost Bray twice, lost twice to the Taker. I, see, I can never remember. See, I knew if, he had some matches with him. I think if they had him, the Fiend lose to him, they could still do a storyline where, you know, I, I think the Fiend doesn't lose face. He just goes, whoa, I found my new home. It's in hell. I still think that they should just I mean, have him beat him, though. A Mania and Survivor Series. Yeah. I remember that Mania match, that entrance that he had with, like, all the dudes and, like, the masks. Oh, it was weird. They had, It was like they were scarecrows. Scarecrows. When does Balor come back? I don't know for Balor? sure. I knew that they talked about him being gone for a couple months. Yeah. But, again, if they play their cards right, I could very well see them doing... Undertaker versus Fiend at the Saudi show. Yeah. Because it would just make sense. Because they need some big attraction. Because I would book Demon Balor versus the Fiend in Hell in a Cell. Yeah, yeah. that would be an interesting one. I would too. But we all know that Demon Balor would get beaten by the Fiend. So. They might. No, he would. Might I mean there's, because there's if things you they could do don't that... have him I for a while the fiend has to be unbeatable no one can beat him why just because that's just the way it needs to be there's certain people that could beat him and, and no I just think that'd be character. stupid is there a fiend action figure yet I know I think they're making one I yeah I've heard they're making one I don't think there's actually a uh, figure not one out, out right now um. I don't know. I just think it'd be stupid if you had him be beat by somebody right now and within the next um I don't see WWE leaving the fiend off their Halloween. Yeah, I wouldn't I would say no. I would yeah. I mean I agree. 
So, I agree with you, Matt. I would see him putting them on the Halloween. The only sad part is it's in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. It is. So, I don't know. I just think that'd be kind of stupid. Yeah. To have him loose to people. I'm sorry. I just do. I don't think it's smart to have him loose. No, I don't. Yeah, well, I mean, again, it depends on who you have him lose to. I don't care who he's losing to. I just think it's dumb to have him lose in the first place. Oh, you're talking about like like a Halloween Havoc type thing? Oh. Hell, oh, hell in a cell. cell. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, he'll probably have a match, but I just don't think it's going to be against Balor. I don't know who it'd be against. I really don't. No yeah, thing. I don't think there is a. There's not a the fiend figure. Yeah, they've scanned. I think it, all they've done there's... is scanned it. They don't. They haven't actually got a uh... render of it or anything. Yeah. Um. It might actually be with Alistair. I don't want it yet. I could see him having a match with Alistair. Uh, I could too, but I don't think. I mean, but I just don't think. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I really don't know. Not a clue. So. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that. He'll be in the video game. Yeah. Yeah. I knew he was in the video game. With the special stuff, yeah. There's like um, a. Um, by Ring. the way, there's a Drake Maverick figure coming out. Yeah, we're gonna buy that. Um, we don't know that yet, but we're buying it. It's actually two variations of it. Yeah, we're that buying I see. It. We're buying it. We're buying. Which would be cool. We're buying it. Um, can't wait to see the severed head. Lanterns on the shelves of Walmart. Are they going to do it? I mean, are they going to let them do it? I mean, that's, you know... I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but... Um, I know some people would. A lot of people are going to have an issue with it. So I wonder if they'd actually do it. Of course, it's no worse than some of the other stuff. Yes. They're doing it with this action figure. The severed head? Yeah. They scanned it for his action figure. Well, that's cool. So, should be fun. Should be fun. Yeah. Um, I think WWE isn't toning down anything with Bray. I don't think they'll tone anything down. Yeah. I just didn't know if they would do the severed head thing with. You know, people complain. With. Um. People complain. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think Bray shut the, the rumors down. Yeah. Yeah, I knew he'd shut I the saw that. down. I just didn't know if they would, you know, I understand that, you know, they're not going to do the tone it down. I just didn't know if, like, Walmart would be willing to take in, um, take in something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Think. I think with that, um, we will be back. Saturday, I guess. Saturday? What's Saturday? Isn't it Saturday the AEWs? No, that's next week. Oh. I'm shocked The Fiend wasn't on SmackDown, though. I'm not. Yeah. Well, I thought they'd have him on sometime this week, but they didn't. They did. They had him on Monday. Yeah, but I thought they'd come back. Yeah, but I thought they'd come back with... um... All Out isn't this weekend. It's the same day as TakeOver Cardiff. I thought it was this weekend. No, it's the 10th. The 10th. 10 days. Well, that's not all. That's not what we want. <laughs> no. Uh, take over and all out is next take weekend. How about Triple H, Takeover, Raw, and Vince? I, I don't no. want, Vince doesn't need to take over anything. No. Vince just needs to go away. This week's Raw was actually pretty good. Yeah. And he wasn't there. So... Yeah, Vince just doesn't need to get involved in any of it. Yep. Oh, hey, did anybody uh, see the stuff about Ronda's finger? Uh, yeah, I did. 
Did you see that? <laughs> yes. She smashed it in a door yep. and her finger near the top of her, like the top of it her finger. It was like almost cut completely nearly off. Nearly fell off. Yeah. I was like, boy, oh boy. Well, she didn't even realize it was like. No, she just she kept doing she her scene. It. And she was like, I thought I'd like jam my, you know how like you jam yeah. your fingernail, right? And. Uh, Did you see it, Matt? It was. I, a lot of people were like, oh, that's gruesome. I was like, I don't see think. See the picture I mean, of I it? think it was pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad, but I was like. I don't find that super gross. Yeah, it I was, was like, ugh, that that probably hurt. Well, it she was probably like, hurt just a little. Probably hurt just a little bit. You know, you're. I don't know how you wouldn't realize that your finger is hanging off. Yeah. Like the, the top of bit. your finger is like sideways yeah. and like hanging there. All right, guys. I don't know how you wouldn't realize that, but um, <laughs> I I didn't find it like super. Well, I can. Disgusting. I mean, I I can't say that I wouldn't couldn't like. I mean, it. She said that the nerve in her finger was smashed, so that might have been. It was gross to me because I was eating when someone showed <laughs> it. <laughs> um, and I, she said in her, is, she I, made a video today for her YouTube channel, and I watched it. She was like, "Well, I, this, I smashed the nerve in my finger, so maybe because she smashed the nerve, she didn't feel it like at all." But even well, sometimes if your adrenaline's flowing or something like that, and you're you're doing things, and you just think, okay, it's just a minor thing. I had a major cut on my knee, where I was had a cut to the bone, and when I did it, I thought it, and it was it was when I was a kid. Um, I thought that it was just a small cut, and I'm thinking I, I like grabbed down on my knee where I was actually playing a, playing a, a wiffle ball with. Couple Is this friends when you hit it on the on the garage, garage door, and yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. And I thought it was just a small cut, and I looked, and then I was like, "Ah, oh, man, that hurt." <laughs> and I looked down, and I got blood all running all down my leg, and like, there's like, this huge gash. Uh, I could see the bone, and I was like, "Um, uh, this isn't just a little small <laughs> scratch. It's like uh, this is like for real." No, but her finger was like half off, and I was like, mm. "That looks like that probably was fun." CFO is no longer doing music for WWE. I did see that. So what are they going to do now? They don't have Jim Johnston. Yeah. They don't have CFOs. Who, Interesting. I don't know what they're going to do now. Also, leave it to WWE. To yeah. Them and attack no doubt about so it. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, I don't think Matt wasn't in here yesterday, was he? Um. I don't remember if he was in here or not. I, Probably I don't not. know, but that was the dumbest thing ever. It was pretty stupid. Code, Code orange, orange to embrace him. Yeah, I know. They got somebody else to do it, but but what? Because the CFO produces a lot of their stuff. Yeah. So what are they gonna do? You know, I mean, what are they gonna do about all the theme songs that they did make? What if they are like, hey, we aren't you? You can't use those. Yeah. So what are they gonna do then? I don't know. So that could open a can of worms, and everybody could have to have new music, and oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I did see that. I think it was Harper with full body shot and changed it to the last. Last second. Yeah, that's what I said. I think it would, you know, it would have made sense. To, made sense to have it be Harper. Dude was too tall to be anyone else. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think someone I uh, I think it was Colin. He was like, well, he looks too like skinny to be like Harper. I was like, well, he we haven't seen him in months. Maybe he slimmed out, dude. Maybe he slimmed out. He was like, you know what? Now that you said that, they're gonna take the mask off and it's gonna be Harper. And I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. What if the dude slimmed out? You know, he's we haven't seen him in months. So I don't know. I really do think it was stupid. Dumbest yeah, he was definitely too seen. tall to be anyone else. It wasn't Bray, no. And I didn't expect it to be Bray. No. If it was Bray, we would have known it was Bray. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, like, I don't know, man. I thought it was real stupid. Bray is above this storyline. Yeah. At this point, yes. Well, if they were to bring him into this storyline, then it would have been dumb. It's pretty dumb at this point. Yeah. Like, Roman didn't even know how to react. Yeah. Because I don't think Roman really wants to be put in this situation at this point. Uh, well, I think just the whole storyline is, like, goofy. I don't know. 
It was goofy from the start, but then we all were like, okay, let's give this the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it could be good. And then they ruined it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, honestly, guys, it's not good. No. No, definitely not. Not with the way they've done it. They could have made it really good, I, th- I think, that, and then they kind of blew it. Screwed it up. Big time. All right. With that, we are going to take off. At least um, to help Buddy Murphy with an awesome match with Brian, but it was Daniel Bryan versus Buddy Murphy. Yeah. 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 I did think it was a good match. Yeah, I thought it was a solid match. So. Um, so we're going to take off. Um, we will be back Monday. Not Saturday, because yeah. the pay-per-view is next week. Yeah, I don't know what made me think it was this week. It's the same weekend as TakeOver Cardiff. Yeah. Which is next weekend. Yeah. Okay. All right. With that, we are going to take off. Hey, everybody that stopped in, thanks for stopping in. If you have not subscribed to our channel, anybody that stopped in, subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell button so you know we go live. Uh, tell all your friends about us so we can get more Kale is winning here. the King of the Ring. Oh, wait, never mind. My theory, hold up. My theory is, no. My theory is, Elias makes it all the way to the finals. Drew makes it all the way to the finals. Shane then screws over McIntyre to have Elias win. And then we get a Shane versus McIntyre feud out of this because I think Kevin Owens is going to get fired. I'm sticking to my guns and saying it's Corbin. I'm saying it's Elias. Elias wins. Uh, That's my pick. With that, we are out of here. Everybody, thanks for stopping in. Excuse me. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. Uh, We will see you on Monday with our Raw review oh shane just inserts himself (laughs) that might happen too uh i could see that with that we're out peace Peace out. out